Hi, this is Betsy with Watson Mortgage, and if you missed my talk this morning, here is a recap. Mortgage interest rates continue to rise. Currently for a well-qualified 30-year fixed rate borrower, we're looking at rates in the low to mid fives. So with higher rates, we'll have some effect on housing values with some buyers deciding to wait and, and hope that interest rates will settle back down. But are experts expecting um, a major slowdown in the housing market or even a crash? In other words, are we in a housing bubble that is likely to burst? The answer is no. There are several factors that support a strong outlook for future housing values, but let's just talk about one of them, the law of supply and demand. Freddie Mac just came out with a report that states that we are 3.8 million housing units short nationally. And there are new families and new buyers coming into the market all the time. The most homes ever built in one year is about 2 million. So if we're 3.8 million units short right now and have new families coming into the market all the time, it's going to take several years of building to produce enough supply to offset, offset the demand. So while higher interest rates may scare some buyers and, and keep a few of them on the fence, um, you know, what we're really just looking at is maybe a lesser rate of housing appreciation, let's say maybe 3 to 10% annually, instead of the 18 to 20% annually that we've seen in the past. And this is a good thing. Getting back to a more normal rate of appreciation for housing values is far from a crash. I think the shortage of housing units, um, soaring rents, and the fact that Florida remains one of the most desirable places for relocating buyers, um, all of those factors lead to a solid positive outlook for housing values in the future. I am Betsy with Watson Mortgage. Let me know how I can help you. Thanks.